Western Division showdown just under the Sagamore Bridge. Christopher Holba from East Carolina goes for Bourne. Vanderbilt's Matt Ruppenthal goes for Katuit. Bottom of the first, Ruppenthal in a jam. Bases loaded and one out. Connor Wong from Houston socks a ball to the left. Willie Yon comes around to score. one nothing Braves. Top of the third with Ryan Hagen at second. UC Santa Barbara's Clay Fisher at the plate. And check out this play by the third baseman, Willie Young, who uses the bare hand to rob Fisher of a base hit. Bottom three with Brennan Bro at second. Jake Magnum hits a chopper to first. Grayson Genesta can't handle it. Bro comes in to score, and Magnum gets caught in a rundown. He's tagged out by Fisher, but regardless, the Braves have a 2 0 lead. Top of the sixth, after a base hit and a wild pitch, Ryan Hagen from Mercer at second and one out. Jack Klein from Stanford hits a ground rule double over the left field fence. Hagen rounds third and touches up, and Katua cuts into Bourne's lead. It's 2-1. to one. After a pitching change, Tim Susnara from Oregon smacks the ball to right. Klein comes around to score to tie the game. Susnara would get caught in a pickle in an attempt to get Cal Stevenson to score, but Stevenson gets thrown out. Susnara ends up at second, but long story short, the game is tied at two. Bottom of the seventh, Eddie Mole on the mound. Jan at third and two outs, and Justin Yurchak from Binghamton pokes the ball to right. Jan scores, and Bourne is up three to two. Top of the eighth, another pitching change. This time, it's Andrew Wentz from UNC. Greensboro on the mound, and Sosnaro ropes a pitch into the gap in right center field. Two runs score, and Katuit has a 4-3 lead. Bottom of the eighth, Bourne would answer right back. After Connor Wong hit a leadoff triple, Josh Robertson got the next two batters out, but he uncorks a wild pitch to Jeremy Ironman, and Bourne ties it up at four. Top nine, Quinn Brody from Stanford at the plate says to Bourne, I see your four and raise you one. He bloops a single to right. Fisher comes in to score, 5-4 to it. However, in the bottom of the ninth, Robertson would have control problems with the bases loaded, and Katuit's infield drawn in. David McKinnon hits a chopper to second. Hagee can't field it cleanly enough to throw out the runner at the plate. He has to go to first. Connor Wong would fly out to end the threat, but the game is tied at five. Katuit would have opportunities to leap out in front in extra innings, and they couldn't cash in. In the bottom of the 11th, Ross Ochter from Toledo on the mound. Runners on the corners, and Justin Yurchek bloops a single to center, and Bourne wins this one 6-5. I was a little late in some situationals. Um, with Mull on the mound, I should have uh, I should have walked the left-hand hitter, and I definitely had it in my head. Thought about it. There were five right-handed hitters behind him, and he gets the next guy out. But you can't be late like that. And um, uh, I told the team, I said, you know, you guys played great, and I really hate that. You know, I didn't manage the game as well as I would have liked to. It's real frustrating. I mean, we did it last night, and. Uh... I mean, yeah, it's a Cape League, everyone's good, but I don't think that their pitchers were good enough to beat us like that. I think we should have won that game. I think they know we should have won that game. We made a lot of um, mistakes, mental mistakes. I mean, I had one at third base, and that one run could have been the difference, so we could have won the game. Uh, extra inning games are always tough. You just got to grind them out, and uh, today we're on the wrong side of it. The other, uh, I guess it was, was it yesterday, two days ago, that we were on the right side of it. Um, they're tough. I mean, when it gets in the back of the game, everyone's bullpen so good that the hitters just have to keep grinding out of bats, um, which we've done, but just came up a little short today. 